When you're using Roman numerals to analyze music in minor keys, use the exact same process that we talked about uh, with major keys. Let's look at this example. Again, we've got four-part harmony, soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. <clears throat> First, let's establish what key we're in. No sharps, no flats in the key signature, so we've got two possibilities, C major, A minor. Look at the last chord. The, last, the lowest note of the last chord is A, therefore the key we're in is A minor. All right, so now that we're in A minor, let's figure out what the chord progression is. If we look at this first chord, starting from the lowest note, we've got A, then we've got C, another A, don't have to write that one, and then E. So A, C, and E, you know, is an A minor chord. In the key of A minor, A minor is the tonic triad, so we put a lowercase Roman numeral one, lowercase because it's a minor chord. Continuing on, the next chord, we've got D, another D, don't have to write that, then A, and F is up on top. D, A, F, you might not recognize that as a chord, but again, rearrange the letters to D, F, and A, and you'll see that it's a D minor chord. <clears throat> again, in the key of A minor, D is the subdominant, so we're going to put a Roman numeral four there. And again, it's lowercase because it's a D minor chord. Next chord, lowest note is E. Then we've got B, G sharp, and then on top is an E. Um, <clears throat> again, E, B, G sharp, a little hard to recognize as a chord, but rearrange the letters. E, G sharp, and B. And you, f you can see that it's an E major chord, okay? In the key of A minor, E major is the dominant, okay? There's an example of that major dominant chord I was emphasizing in the last lesson. And then finally, we come back to here, and it turns out to be another one chord, okay? Exact same process. Hopefully you're starting to get the hang of this, and do a little practice with this, and then we'll continue on uh, in the next lesson.